Hello, welcome to the second Twitter API version 1.1 tutorial video. Got a request to show how to actually save the data, so chances are uh, if you're streaming the data you might actually want to save it. Surely you're going to want to save it at least to a variable, uh, maybe for displaying purposes. But a lot of people are probably wanting to actually save this either in a database or into a file of some sort. I'm going to show how to save it to a CSV. If you're familiar uh, with databases, then really the principle is the same. You would just save it to a variable and save it to the database. And then I'll also show you guys uh, how to trim the, trim the actual information. Because as you'll see, the information that you get, um, or at least that you've probably seen through the stream, is you get a lot of information. And so, especially as you're streaming it, you're probably streaming uh, at least eight times the data that you, you might actually even be interested in. So, so you'll want to trim the data too. So anyway, that's, uh, I'm going to show you at least how to save it in this video. And probably in another video, I'll show you guys how to actually trim the data down. So uh, to start, what we're going to do is the data itself is, uh, is basically already in a variable. So here we're just printing the data, but you can also obviously save that data. So to save that data, all you really need to do is you, um, you don't really even need the file to exist already. So we could just say uh, save file equals open. And you can just say, we'll call this twitdb.csv. And you want to open it with the intention to append, not write. Otherwise, it would clear it every time. The next thing that you want to do is we would go save file.write data. And you could either say, you could make a variable and append like data plus new line, or you can just do something as simple as save file.write and write in a new line like that. Although when you save the data like this, as you'll see, there's actually blank lines. But when you go to trim the data, which you're definitely going to want to do, you'll want that new line in there. And finally, the last thing you want to do is save file.close. Now, one more thing that I'll add on to what we did last time is, as you can see right here, there's first of all, there's no, uh, there's no, no room for error here. So if this script fails in any way, it's just going to close out and stop running. So you should also encase this in a try and accept loop. Uh, but so we'll say try here. But in most of my videos, I show you guys you want to just do try accept exception. In this case, we actually want to do try accept base exception. Give it an E. And the reason for this is it's actually a base exception that will be thrown. Like So for example, two reasons you might get an error. One would be um, if you get rate limited or you get like a 404 or something like that. Or if your internet drops, um, you'll you'll get just cleared out. So sometimes you know if you've got spotty internet or maybe you're on wireless internet. I don't know why you're going to stream Twitter on wireless internet, but let's say you are. Every now and then your internet might go out and it, it comes right back, but it doesn't matter if it fails once, the whole thing would close. So you want to do that. Uh, throw out the base uh, exception and then just say uh, print failed on data, and then we'll just say uh, string e for whatever the error is. And hopefully it only throws it maybe once or twice and then continues back. And the other thing, just just uh, just so you're not like constant, like if you are being rate limited, you would want to throw some sort of sleep in there. Uh, otherwise, you'd uh, be like constantly reconnecting. So if you are being rate limited, uh, this would only piss them off more. So uh, and also with time.sleep, we don't have any uh, we haven't imported time. So make sure you go to the top of your script and uh, import time. So let me do that real quick. Anyway, so I'm, I'm kind of hiding the uh, access token and all that kind of stuff. Uh, you should have your own. If you don't know how to get them, obviously, you, you can watch the previous tutorial on that. Um, but I just don't want to have to worry about someone taking my access tokens. <laughs> so that's why I'm doing this. Anyway, so make sure you import time at the top, and then we'll scroll back down. And now that we've done the try, accept, base exception, you'd really want to throw this around to try and base exception as well, or just regular exception even. But base exception is basically like any exception, so that's good. So now that we've done that, we're good to go. So we can actually save and hopefully run this without any issue. Looks all good to me. Um, even though we're saving it as a comma separated variable, but there's no variables being separated. Anyway, because it comes out as a JSON, but anyway. Uh, so let's hit F5 and run this. 
And sure enough, we are streaming a lot of stuff for car. So let me open it up. Um, let's see, where are we? Here we are. And here's our Twitter DB. It is growing at a pretty rapid rate. And this is what I was talking about. If you, um, you know, most people are just really interested in the tweets. But as you can see, we have a created date. Um, we've got ID, ID string, and then you've got the actual text itself, otherwise known as a tweet. Then you've got source, you've got uh, location if they give it to you, you've got URLs in their descriptions, and they've got more stuff and more stuff and more stuff and more stuff, and more, stuff and more stuff. Oh my gosh. So you have all kinds of stuff. And some of this stuff is interesting, like how many followers they have, how many people they're following, etc. But a lot of this stuff you don't want it's just a huge waste right so we'll probably yeah we're already at over a megabyte now so as you can imagine if you run this thing for very long uh, pretty quickly you uh, have a massive database uh, that is really wasting uh, or at least very wasteful so that's going to conclude how to save it to a file and in the next video I'm going to show you guys how it, uh, you can trim it and, and so your database isn't growing so rapidly um, so anyways, that's going to be in the next video. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for the support and the subscriptions. And until next time.